gets me. And there's like a little itty bitty snare drum in the back here in this version. It's very good. Oh. Oh, so good. All right, um. Sorry, I'm a little late tonight. Um. I wasn't feeling super great after finishing work today. I'm a little tired. My tum tum was a little upset. So I actually laid down for a little bit now. And I just woke up. So I'm also teased a bit groggy currently. But we're going for it. We're going for it. Yeah. Um, so I don't know how long we're gonna go. Maybe two hours. Whoa, hello. And like the biggest like purists of the series think that like I didn't turn my TV on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Switches. Right when the TV is not on. Click over and it's still black screen. Um, the TV I have in here is a little finicky. Sometimes the part is a little janky. And I kind of like push it in and wiggle it around a bit. Um, which is also why I put the audio through the headset. That way I can kind of hear the levels anyway, but. He's here. Creaky he hopped up on my lap. <sighs> Welcome back. Why am I at the king now? So I named all my character people after people in the neighborhood. So we got me. Got Malu as the priest. G Reg is the clown. And the cutie as the thief. That's what we'll start with. Um, and apparently everybody in the, the castle was talking about um, keys in a uh, nearby tower. Wow, don't fall. Don't fall, key. Don't fall. You're too cute to fall. So we will, uh, I, I only wanted to see what's on the other side of the ocean. Oh, it hurts. Uh, seems I fell in the room opposite and you tried to make him a wrecking ball with a little accent. Did you know how badly he's hurt? Those things must be pretty dangerous. Wrecking balls. Okay. Nah. We ain't gonna stay here. Yeah, I mean, it's gotta be K-Mac, right? Hey, Paula. How's it going? A lot of people may be cuties in this team. Yes, that was nice. <laughs> Alright, Ma. Forced me to go to bed right away. Jeez. Go do some adventure. Okay, well, I'm gonna go talk to this old guy. Ortega was a real hero material, you, you know. Your father was something special. And his father before him. <laughs> you have a lot to live up to, Brad. Don't let your grandfather down. Okay, Master Roshi. Did I check this one? I don't think I could. I think my mom dragged me out of there right away. Okay. Hello, kitty. Alright, so we're gonna explore town here. Hello, hello, hello. I'm your local Gosman. I'm a mute. <laughs> we gotta keep you. Choose for your trouble. You may set off on your quest, safe in the knowledge that your hometown is in good hands. Okay. Have you seen that funny little island in Rusty Town? Walk a little ways Busted Town and you'll spot it soon enough. 
<laughs> You're Ortega's son, aren't you? The hero? Your father was a great man. A truly great man. Oh, I was hoping to say something like Super Sunday or something. Oh, Cypher Sticks. Copper Sword. We got one equipped. Everybody's got plain clothes on. Except for I have Wayfarer's clothes on. So we have no armor, basically, right now. Okay. No. If you leave town and wander around for long enough, eventually it'll get dark. Can you see her? She's all snappy. Yeah. When that happens, you'll want to be careful. The meaner monsters just love the nighttime. On a nice sunny day like this, the whole idea of an archfiend destroying the world just seems impossible, don't it? <laughs> that was a hard voice to do, apparently. Wow. Okay, day. If you're gonna try to steal my water. Oh, hydration. It does a body good. Anahan sits upon a body of land surrounded entirely by sea. As do. On the other side of the sea, there are land masses larger than we island dwellers could ever imagine. Ah, oh, if I could only catch a glimpse of those distant shores just once before I die. Okay, Grammy. Alright, into the well. The whole house down here. What the heck? Welcome to the Mini Metal Manor. He may not look it, but the boss here is a very important man. Get into his good books and you won't regret it. Many thanks by dropping by. I'm trying to max out my collection of mini metals. If you find any, you bring them to me and I'll make it maximally worth your while. <laughs> Can I check these chests? Yeah, put it all in the lock, did they? <coughs> Heaven knows why, but when I met the boss here, I got this strange feeling that he was a king and that I had to protect him. That's why I followed him down here, you see. It just feels like he's the kind of big shot the Archfiend or someone might want to bump off, you know? Prizes. We get the blessed bikini at 95. Ooh. First one to add AI components, I think. So by default, everybody will do their stuff. But I can be like, follow my orders. And then they should let me, yeah. Now, G-Reg, unfortunately, is a clown, so apparently they will occasionally just do whatever they want anyway. They're not beholden to actually follow instructions. So. Oh. Oh. Music. Down, it's so good. 
Alright, let me turn it down. Do all that up. Behave your dang self. Alright, is that better? I mean, unless. Oh, this could be bad. Alright. Now we heal. Of course you don't, you dang clown. It's so like any Dragon Quest game, we're going to take a little bit of time here at the start. Walking around the area right side of town. You get to like, oh, level 3 or 4 probably. Oh, they're so stunned to me, huh? I don't have any spells here, right? So, like, I have, like, some okay equipment right on me right now, whereas the rest of the people start with garbage. So, we'll have to get them equipped out, which is the key here. And Greg reaches level two. Nice. Level two, ding. Oh, cutie got a level. So the little bit I remember about this game, um, it was the first one to add a day-night cycle, and there will be certain portions throughout the game where having it be nighttime or daytime will affect what we can and can't do, and there'll be certain objectives we'll have to approach uh, depending on what time of day it is. And I don't know if sleeping at the end lets me set the time. I think I might have to progress time naturally unless they added that as a convenience factor later um because this they did remake this particular game a ton of times it is well loved in the series um getting a super nintendo remake and then eventually a game boy color remake later hello g-reg i hope you like being a clown because that's what i made you i made malu a priest He's the most priestly person I know. And then we got the cutie who's a thief. For obvious reasons that I don't think I need to say. Nice crit. to be a thing? Nothing, Greg. You're absolutely nothing. Nope, nothing. Yep. No, he's not a... What? what? Clown? Psh. Greg a clown? Never. It's like this guy isn't defending his door anymore so he can sneak in here and steal his stuff. this late? Won't your poor mother be worried sick? What are you after at this time of night? Hmm? Your mini metal. That's what I'm after. Why is this guy laying in the street? Ah, you're the young fella I met over at Patty's place, aren't you? Yeah. Well, there you are. Just look at that moon. Here's to it. Cheers. Glug glug kick. 
I'm afraid I've shut down for the day. Why don't you get some sleep and come see me tomorrow? Let's go down to the menu. Metal guy. A lot of people Greg mods for. He could just juggle swords. I mean, that's true. Also, hello, Niv. You just imagine a penguin clown and damn it. Yeah, well. Oh, he won't give me anything for one. I need five, huh? All right, boss. I see how it is. Oh, that's right. Cords is streaming today for their birthday, aren't they? Who else is streaming today for their birthday, Greg? You should get yelled at me. Well, now we are up late, aren't we? But you're still in one piece. That's the main thing. Go inside with you. Of course your friends can stay. The more, the merrier. That's kind of creepy, Mom. Greg, you better not be doing anything unsorted with my mother. Don't you touch her. She's a saint. Spooky's birthday is tomorrow? Wow. Just trying to stay awake stream. That's the stream I'm running. Finally, level two. Eef. So it takes a little bit longer for the main character to level up in this. Um, you can do some cross-classing, and then there's also like advanced rate classes and stuff like that. So the reason why I really made Greg a clown is because at level 20 he'd become a sage. And if I recall, sages are really, really heckin' good. I think they kind of dabble in both like um, healing spells and damaging spells. Um... I don't really know why I brought a thief. But usually, like, thieves are good. In these kind of games. Well, look, Greg's level 3 already. Yeah. So Greg will be a clowny sage when everything is said and done. Yeah, it's called something else. It's just the G, but it's basically the... In Dragon Warrior itself, it used to be called the clown class, I believe. And, like, he looks like a clown. Look at that clowny guy. Oh, that's a lot of enemies. Well, they're like, ah, oh, you probably don't want to bring one of those clowns along. 
they're no good at anything. The way things are going right now, you might die, Greg. Jeez. So many freaking ravens that fight. Jeez. Looks like we made it through. Neat. Alejandro. Alejandro. The nice thing about this game is my mom will let me sleep for free. We don't have to pay it in at the beginning of the game. Alright, can we get somebody a copper sword? Well, no, I can use a copper sword. Greg, you'll get a sword first. You can also buy some Wayfarer clothes for somebody. Do, 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 do. Which is like your best upgrade right now, so. Actually, that's dumb. Let's not do that. Because you can have my old clothes when I get to armor. I have two oaken clubs in my bag, really? And Wayfarer clothes. Look at that. We had your upgrade all along. Should not use the. She doesn't have any weapon equipped right now. Can we give you the cypress stick at least then? To the bag. Alright, so that'll help a lot. Apparently, uh, nobody had anything equipped, so. Nice. Also, I am honored that you would have me in your game, sir. Well, Greg, I was trying to think about people that, like, are hanging out here and stuff on a regular basis. And these are the names I came up with. And honestly, it was, I was really tempted to name the girl Tom, but, you know, we had to have a little bit of gender diversity on my team. Otherwise, it would have been... Four bros going off into the world. It's like Final Fantasy XV's thing. You don't want to steal that shtick, right? It's nice to find a weapon. Where is it? I mean, Greg is talking to me, so I assume that stream isn't dead. Okay, there we go. Wow. And like, if you irritate me, Greg, I can always throw you back into the, like, queue and grab someone else. It's not like the game doesn't allow me to make as many people as I want, so. More like Finna. I've come up with a new recipe. Who have you come up with? What's the recipe? No luck, Greg. <laughs> okay, Greg. I mean, I have no intention of getting rid of you right now. I'm just saying that, you know. I will rotate out if I need to, but... You being a sage means I'll probably need you for most of the game, so... I don't remember all the class stuff, and I don't remember all of the intricacies in this game. Um, but sage is good. Actually, you were the first character I made if you watched the clip of the VOD from yesterday, so. There was no hesitation for me. <laughs> Maybe that's good. I like it.
You know, we stuck with you for like 16 hours. It's just, jeez. Oh, nighttime monsters. Alright, slimes. We should be able to handle grinding at night now for a little bit. I would think. It's amazing what weapons does for everybody, right? So I'm the kind of person where I'd like to get at least another sword in the party's hands, I think. Obviously getting leather armor would be nice too, but I'm not as worried about that right now. <coughs> Excuse me. A lot of ravens. Wah. And I do not claim to be an expert in this game series at all. It took me three tries to beat the final boss um, in the last game. And if I was doing like a casually just playing the game by myself thing, I probably would have leveled up more before even going into the final area, to be honest with you. But that's mostly just because like I'm a compulsive like over leveler when I'm playing these games in like for funsies basically. Like, I've got Dragon Quest Nine on this thing right here. And I've been in the same dungeon now for, like, three weeks just grinding on Metal Slimes to get all of my character classes to level 20. And I'm finally at a point where I'm like, I just need to progress a little bit to see, to, like, keep it fresh for myself. So. Oh, you think Scary to beat Dragon Quest Two as well? That's awesome. Scary is very good. This might have been too thick of a shirt to wear today. I'm getting a little hot already. But we only have another, like, you know, two hours? Yeah, I'll be going for, like, another two hours at the most. If I still feel up to it. Tonight. I got a long day ahead of me tomorrow. Oh, shit. Yep. All these yawns are great. Uh, yeah, I would agree, uh, Nivy. Yeah, working out helps. I've been doing that a lot. Um, it's definitely helping me avoid being stir-crazy. My biggest challenge has been that, like, I'm still working. Um, and so trying to get my work stuff done. And then also be a, f a teacher for my, my kids. And also being the voice of reason for some of my people has been... It's been a lot. It's been a lot. Um, and one of my friends is like, yeah, I understand, like, the mentality. Like, your brain's exhausted. I'm like, no, I'm, I'm actually exhausted. Like, both physically and mentally right now. I just need to, like, take a few days and just recover. But, like, that's not in the cards for me right now. I theoretically, I could use some PTO and take a couple days off of work if it really comes down to that. Um, but even then, like, if if I plan those days poorly, then I still have to do all the teaching stuff and everything. So it doesn't really help either, right? Um, this would have been the kids' spring break week. Uh, so me and the ex-wife agreed not to have them do any schooling-type stuff this week, which has been helpful. Um, to just let them kind of, like chill themselves, but, like, I'm not getting to chill, <laughs> you know? And by far, I mean, I'd rather be in the situation I'm in right now than, you know, some of my friends who have lost their jobs, or, um, there's one person who, like, the entire industry of things they do is currently dried up until kind of everything starts moving again, so, I don't know, it's not an easy topic, and I'm, I'm more scared, I'm more scared today than I've been in this entire event from, like, recent, like, stuff, which doesn't feel great either, um, but I'm just trying to do the best I can to follow his own guidelines, and, uh, you know, we'll get through it, so. Yeah, I've been doing it more because of that, too. Let's go, Greg. Working out's always a positive. Well, working out's a positive as long as you're not hurting yourself, right? Alright, we're gonna do it. 
Z balls. So I'm like super low on like I, I ran out of Pepsi yesterday. Um, so I'm kind of like part of the reason I'm, I think I'm so tired today is because I'm like caffeine detoxing. So. Oh, that's good. That's good, Greg. got Pepsi? Oh. So, I could have ran to the store today, theoretically, and got some stuff. Including some Diet Pepsi. But my brother, my future sister-in-law, I don't know when they're getting married. They have two kids together, so she's like, pretty permanent fixture in his life. Anyway, um, she went out and got some stuff the other day and asked me if there's anything that I needed, and I'm like, I'm doing pretty good for the most part, but I wouldn't turn down some Diet Pepsi. And so he was supposed to come drop that off at like 11.30 last night, and then he never did. So. So it's like, oh, okay. I guess I just don't need to have Diet Pepsi for right now. Yeah. So we'll see. Maybe tonight's the night. I should probably text him. I like tease him about it, but it's fine. I get the kids tomorrow at five, so I work until pretty much I gotta leave to go get them. So that'd be a good time. Greg, you don't need battle spells yet. Jeez. I don't think the yeah. I don't think the thief can say battle spells either. Yeah, it's fine. I could be like not lazy Greg and make some coffee. That'd probably help as well, you know. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. Is mayonnaise a battle spell? I don't recognize that name. But I, again, will not claim to be an expert in Dragon Quest. I can cast Frizz. Ooh. Or are you just making a joke there, Greg? Chris for days! Let's go rest in town, let's save, and let's go venture, venture forth. Oh, okay. You had me all concerned. Is mayonnaise a battle spell? Could be, as far as I know. Because, like, the other thing, too, is, like, in, in the versions that I played the most, which is Dragon Warrior 1, 2, 3, and 4 for the NES. Um, all the spells had these, like, Americanized English names, basically. Um, so, like, there was, like, a, a spell just called Hurt. And a spell called Heal. You know what I mean? Um, and they didn't, like, really try to keep with, like, the spirit of, like... Excuse me. Um, well... Of like the original Japanese in those regards. Am 
Nice, okay. So then, let's buy the leather armor. And then we can take the, not the map one, jeez. We can take that Wayfarer's clothes and transfer those down to you. And then equip those. So not everybody has like the best of gear they could have right now, but at least they have some better stuff. Would a copper sword even be worth using in real life? Um, yes. A copper sword would definitely be worth using in real life. Um, so, like, uh, the, the problem with a copper sword is it requires to be sharpened more frequently, I believe. Like, the edge you can make on a copper sh a sword on, in most situations is actually going to be sharper than the edge you can make on an iron or steel sword. Um, but the edge is not maintained as easily um, if you hit something that's not copper. So, like, generally you don't want to go, like, blade to blade against another blade, right? Because you're going to put chips and gouges in, in the blade. With a bronze or a copper blade, that's going to be even more of a dramatic problem because... Uh, the metal is much softer, and so you're going to have much bigger nicks and stuff in there. But against, like, flesh, it would be incredibly good. Yeah. So yeah, it would be it'd be worth your time. Also, I think there might be a length thing too. I think at some point they become difficult to make longer. Oh, look at that! I found a set of Wayfarer's clothes. How convenient! Here you go, cutie. Why don't you change those clothes? Wow, well, learning with Sar. Yeah, I mean, I got weird hobbies in my free time, I guess, right? Free time air quotes. Good job, cutie. Also, can cutie not equip the sword? Alright, so there's a stairwell there. We don't want to go up. We can help it yet. Let's keep exploring around. Also, how are we doing on health? I think we're okay at the moment. Maybe Greg needs to be topped off? I wish I could see the maximum health you guys have easier. That would help. We'll also see how the dungeon design is in this game. I don't remember. It's been like 20 years, if not longer, since I've played through this game. Um, so there definitely be points where I don't remember what I'm supposed to do or stuff. We'll see how much of it comes back to me. Because like most of the stuff in like Dragon Warrior 1 came back to me uh, pretty proficiently by the end of that game. But I do not remember this one at all. Uh, what was I saying? Shoot. Wow, wow. We'll see how it stands up. Like, so far. Dragon Warrior 1 actually really impressed me with the amount of, like, freedom you had to just kind of explore the world at your kind of your own pace and kind of go anywhere you wanted to, and the dungeon design being very maze-like I thought was actually really nice because even if there was a lot of, like, backtracking and stuff and things you had to do, um, at least it was, like, you could see the walls next to you. It never felt cheap. It never felt mean, right? Whereas in Dragon Quest 2... Uh, especially in those later dungeons where it's like, there's like 16 different paths you can take. Which one's the right one? Uh, like, not not as great. Um, so I'm thinking that the design choices are going to be more along that line in this game. And so I'm guessing we're going to be pulling out a map at some point. Um, I think back to, and I've never played through uh, Final Fantasy 2 myself. Like, I've only watched the videos on it and... Uh, seen some people stream it and stuff like that and things. 
But in Final Fantasy II, there are these doors you enter into throughout the dungeons that will they put you in the middle of the room. And so you have to take steps to get out of the room if it's like a false room or like a fake room that you're going into. Oh no, these toads look tough. Uh, let's see. I don't actually have like a chimera wing right now either, I just realized. Which is probably going to be a problem if we do end up taking a lot of damage here. At some point, my main character should get the ability to heal, um, which will help. But obviously, if you look at like, my mana pool, I've only got 8 MP. So, oh my god, Chrono Trigger is so good. I did not play Chrono Trigger until many years later. I don't know why not. Like, So the thing about me, and I, I, maybe I've talked about this a little bit on streams and stuff already. Um, JRPGs have, have been a part of my life pretty much my entire life. Like, as long as I can remember, we had JRPGs in the household. Um, and it wasn't just a me thing. Like, my mother liked it, and my uh, uncle was really big into it. My uncle would write his own guides for these old games. And he refused to beat the final boss, because he would want to... He, 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 it, would, it would give him the sense of always having something he had never done to keep coming back to the games, basically, or whatever. Um, and so you'd have all these, like, spiral notebooks with stuff through it and everything like that. Oh, you got Steam. Nice. I heard the Steam version's much better now, they, that they fixed a lot of the issues with the initial release of it. And most of that stuff is just cosmetic stuff anyway. Like, I think you can still have a really good time with that game, even with it looking terrible. Like, I... This art style in this game, I think, is vastly superior to the art style in the last two games from, like, the overworld sprites perspective. They just look chunky and bad. And obviously, like, this is clearly, um, at least starting with the Super Nintendo sprites and stuff, which I think are much cleaner and crisper. Why is there a... Okay. What happens if I leave here? Okay. If I can go back into the tower through there? Okay, that's gonna be a fight. Um, come on, Greg, don't you give up on me now? Uh, Dragon Quest V or Final Fantasy V? Yeah, the bunny corns. The classic bane of my existence. The bunny corn. Risen from the dark. The bunny corn rise. But anyway, as I was saying, so like RPGs were always a really big thing in my household. Um, and we never had, we didn't have Earthbound when I was a kid, and we didn't have Chrono Trigger when I was a kid. Um, but I had, like, Secret Mana and, like, Secret of Evermore and all those kind of games. So, like, I don't know. I just don't know why we never, never got that specific one. But, yeah, when I played it later on the DS, oh, so good. Five is just the best number in general. It could be. You are a lot of travelers, are you? You're from Alan, huh? Don't tell me you've come looking for the Wrecking Ball, too. Honestly, what is so good about these things that people go chasing around the countryside looking for them? I mean, I just got here, man. I was, like, going through a dungeon, and I ended up in your town. But we're definitely going to spend the night. Oh, the DS version of Chrono Trigger? Yeah. Um, I think most people would say it's the best. It's got some extra content in it. Uh, and some of that, like, the post-game stuff... Uh, ties together um, Chrono Trigger and Chrono Cross more than the original game kind of does. Um, which I've never actually done that dungeon. No. Okay. Thanks for your top tip. I don't think there's even like a weapon shop here, is there? Let's go tree speed. Yep. Um, I was talking on stream one day, uh, Nivy, about how... So Frog in that game 
um, his ultimate weapon is like part of the plot. It's like part of his storyline, right? Um, and so one of the neat things they did in the DS remake is uh, the, the, the key mechanic in that game is once you beat the game, you carry over all your progress into a new save plus. And there are certain points that you can continuously challenge the final boss, and depending on when you beat the final boss, you get a different ending. Um, well, Frog was kind of always underpowered in like the original version up to about halfway through the game when you get his ultimate weapon. Um, and so one of the things they did is they added this optional dungeon. Ooh, butterflies. Those look scary. You should go tell the king that he gave you that tip. Should I tell the king he gave me that tip? Does it do something? I don't remember. Okay, but of course. Um, and so the extra dungeon they add in the DS version of Chrono Trigger, uh, you get a sword that is basically, like, it's better than anything else that Frog can get in the game to basically tide him over until he gets his ultimate weapon halfway through the game. So it makes him more effective in all the fights earlier, so... You didn't hear it from me. Oh, that's fair. I'm kind of splitting my attention here right now, sorry. Oh. It's the castle. Alright. Gotta love these animations. That's a really good walk cycle. I mean, I guess I could go tell the king, but aren't I, like, I'm the hero of the land. Like, I can just do what I want, right? Oh, also neat is you can walk out of here, and now I'm on the island, right? Anyway. Alright, first dungeon in the game. Let's see if I'm going to have to pull out maps. Whoa, that's a lot of ant nibblers. Like, I'm not going to get a lot of, like, AoE spells with this party setup either, so this is going to be... It's going to be an interesting time, that's for sure. There we go. I like how they preserved in, uh... This version of Dragon Quest II when you go to buy the, key, the, the prison cell key in, uh... In that one town, that's just a random item. They don't tell you how much it costs or anything. It's like, hey, you know what you're buying, right? They're like, yeah, I know what I'm buying. Here's the undisclosed amount of money. Okay, there's an upstairs. There's a down. Where's this down go? Oh, sh shit. Yeah. Um. Damn it. Okay. Guess we're gonna try to fight through it then. So I'm worried these can poison and I don't have any antidote herbs with me. Or chimera wings to fly back to town right now. So... I'm basically not ready to fight those mobster mobs. Oh, break and heal now, so that's good. Um... At some point, the priest character should learn the poison curing spell, and then I'll be okay. And it should hopefully be soon. But we gotta be careful. Yeah, pebbles. I didn't think they would throw poison stuff at me this early. Hey, Greg, you just reached level 6. Nice. Customers, after all this time, I can't tell you how happy I am to see you. Welcome to my inn, weary traveler. Will you be spending the night? Yeah, sure, okay. What is my third party member? He's the clown. They're called something else in this game. Uh, he's a gadabout. Yep. Yep, clown.
I don't really remember much about them, but they mentioned when you were, I was creating the characters that clowns can become sages at level 20. Once you reach All Trades Abbey. I think it's All Trades Abbey in this game, too. It's usually the name of it. And as I recall, sages are very good, so... And they were like, make sure you have a warrior. And I was like, nah, I want someone more spry. Let's go with a thief. That sounds fun. There wasn't any logic in who I made, so. Uh, maybe it's called Jester and Dragon Warrior? I don't remember. I thought it was called Clown and Dragon Warrior, but I could be mistaken. I haven't played three, like, legit in a very, very long time. But yeah, they basically scold you like, why would you want to have one of these on your party? They're essentially useless. You're just going to be carrying around dead weight for most of the game. Don't do it. And I was like, that sounds like me. I like to carry around dead weight. Some dead weights. Hey. Guess we're going up. Well, so far, this ain't so bad. It's not nearly as bad as the Fire Temple or the Underwater Sea, water sea or whatever. Man, I don't know if I want to go up yet, though. There could be, like, fat loot on this level. Everybody kill the bubble slime. <laughs> yeah, Greg, you are going to make up for it. Right, let's go north. There's a chest. And I got to go below to get it. Oh, no. That's a good find. <coughs> oh. So the good news is, like, if I have to now, um, I can jump off the tower and then Camara went back to town. So that would be useful if that was the case. walk right off that edge and then fly back if like things get emergency which they might because that's a lot of freaking enemies that can potentially poison me oh and I don't remember in Dragon Quest 1 healing at the end did not cure poison I had to do that first and then uh G-Reg I just realized that your character is essentially a Pokemon who does not obey that is what your character is. That's so funny. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you cast a heal on yourself, y'all. You got this. Oh, the crit. Or the nice hit or excellent hit or whatever. Level 5. Come on, fat stats. Strength 3. I'll take 3. Accelerate? Really? You learn Accelerate before you learn... Dang it. Oh, kitty. Hi. How are you? Alright, everyone else has got okay health right now. 
Oh, there's another stair here. Oh, God. All right. Let's just do this. Awesome. Gotta get those gym badges. Hey, the wrong turns. How you doing? Nice to see you. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mistake. All right. Let's go back up again. Hello, kitty cat. I'm going to be one of those, like, pro streamers here and take a look at my phone quick. So... Bear with me a second while I scale this tower while checking something fast. Well, hello, kitty. Alright. Um, I wasn't paying attention. We need to go up one more level before we're at the one where I need to be, right? That's fine. Greg, you bought Animal Crossing? <laughs> That's funny. You caved, huh? But day one, nobody can help you. There's a stairwell here. G Reg, tell all my Discordian friends. No, oh, I'll see. Are you going back to play the first one? First one's very good. I am a big fan. Craig's mod. the treasure chest that I jumped off the tower for a mini metal. Oh. Alright, that's fine. Just gonna text Broski quick here to see if he's coming out today with that delivery. You did say AC. Oh, are you gonna play Armored Core? Oh man, I love Armored Core. Armored Core is a great game too. Heck yeah. Hey, cat. Doing good. Oh, not on my core. Um, what other games have AC in their title? Nope, those are the only two I can come up with. Oh! What are you doing back there? Another series. Uh, this one? Yeah. Okay. What are you... Don't you take my 3DS off the... <laughs> she's trying to grab stuff off the desk again, and she's going for my 3DS this time. Alright, so... There's another stairwell at the end, but let's start here. Prestigitator, oh man. He looks tough. Oof. Well, well, so you've come at last. It's Brant, isn't it? 
I've dreamt so many times of giving you this key, heaven alone knows why. But it must mean something, so here you go. One thief's key. You'll take it, won't you? Yeah, I'll take the key. Why not? By the way, there are books in this world so influential that they can change your whole personality. Open them with caution, that's my advice. Off you go then, Brant. I can't stand around all day, I've got important dreams to be having. Yawn. No interesting books here. Girls' own annual. Oops. Changes personality. Interesting. I don't remember what personality does. So we can just jump off now. Because we don't need anything else in this place, as far as I know. Also, I could have just went right downstairs, I guess. There is one red door. There's a couple red doors in town, so we should go back to the starting uh, castle and open any of the red doors we couldn't open before. And then we should probably go check out the one that was in the basement of this place. Yeah. Let's go do that. So to the right is the castle. Those bunny corns are really cute though, aren't they? Your first AC game on stream. I mean, like, Air Conditioning Repairman 2020 is in a, uh, game, right? Oh. Look at those pogs. G-Reg, you got... <laughs> HVAC Repairman 2020. Game of 2020. Man, I want to play more Alex. I didn't get to play... I didn't get around to playing any last night. Um... Hardwood headwear. Nice. Seed of agility. I don't know if I want to blow that on. So, like, this game is kind of eh, interesting because these, like, stat boosting items, like, are kind of good to use in your main character because, like, he's always going to be in the party. So, like. Yes, kitty. How you doing? You need to go? You wanna go? She's just staring at me with those kitty eyes. I don't know what she wants from me right now. Oh. Oh my god. This is not a pup date. How do I, like, just show the picture? Open the picture. I don't want that part. There. Ah. My friend just texted me a picture of the bronze fawns, apparently, in Milwaukee right now, wearing protective gear. So that's nice. Do you want to go out? Or do you want to stay in? Like, what are you doing down there, kitty? What are you doing, kitty? We might be slightly overwhelmed for this area already. But we didn't get poisoned, and that's the most important thing.
and rank the old geezer over Drew's tower. That's the right place to work. Yep. Yeah, I'm not reading his dialogue again. We read it last time. Red door. Nice. Mini metal! That's two now? Three? We're at three. I recall reading somewhere that a seal placed upon a teleportal could be broken by means of a wrecking ball. Someone was researching wrecking balls, weren't they? Ah, yes, of course. That old fellow from Reeve. Hmm. Hey, Duke's playing Animal Crossing, and you should go play it with him, too. I've been working here in Island Castle for ten years now. I wanted to become a royal scholar, but I failed the blessed exam. I heard those who passed were given a special book that made them extra clever, too. <sighs> Curse my luck. Little Karibo for a second. I don't think I could intentionally do a little Karibo voice. How does he sound? Like, I've watched a lot of his, um, his, like, breakdowns of, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX and stuff. I've heard the cave over the promontory leads to Dreamer's Tower. How about that? I mean, I've never actually checked. Yeah, we did that already. Seems the wrecking ball is basically explosive. They use it to blow through walls and such. Mini metal. That's a good find, actually. And an herb that would have been really useful if he had gotten poisoned. Oh, hello there. You didn't come all this way to see me, did you? No. Oh, you just happened to be here by accident then. And there I was getting all excited. Okay. You know what? Fine. I know you're lying, but it's very lovely of you. So I'll tell you something nice in return. Apparently they used to have a thing called a teleportal off to the east side of our little continent. But it's all sealed up now, so nobody can use it. It's almost like if I took the knowledge of where the teleportal is you're telling me about and everybody else talked about this wrecking ball thing and I combined them, I might be able to progress, potentially. Huh. Blue eyes, black metal Kariba. I don't know. The other thing I remember from the little bit of... I, I didn't watch a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge, though. Um, just his GX stuff, typically. Um, but the one thing that I know from that is, like... <clears throat> Screw the rules, Yu-Gi! I have money! And I set of Kaiba is very good. And I place my little Karibo in attack position. Your move, Kaiba. I'm gonna blast that ass all the way to the Shadow Realm. Oh yeah. Yeah. Screw the rules. I have money. Uh, Maldoch, Dark Magician? That wasn't bad. Nice. I always thought it was funny that the Dark Magician card, like the actual card, was just awful looking. Just a very bad card. Like if you got the version that they released that was Yugi's version, it looked much better. But like the green faced Dark Magician's like, I am sickly with the plague! <laughs> You're like, why? Why did they do this to you? And then I loved my, I think my favorite card was the one with the girl, the fairy girl riding on the giant hyper, like the giant syringe or whatever, right? Oh, watch. Shush you. All these dang smart assistants in our lives yelling at us for stuff. That was Bigsby, by the way. They have so many archetypes in Yu-Gi-Oh now? Really? Yeah, I haven't... 
been current on Yu-Gi-Oh's like card game meta in a very long time. I hear it's really stupid these days. Um, the power creep has really made the game not great. Uh, and then uh, the for the like anime stuff, like GX was the last one that I like watched regularly, and even then I think I only got to like maybe season two. Like they hadn't even got to like the Shadow Riders or whatever at that point. So yes. You didn't hear it from me. Okay, thanks. Well, I didn't go upstairs in the inn last time I was here. You have to promise me you'll kill lots and lots of monsters. They got my mommy and daddy sniff. That's actually heartbreaking. Wow. They say there's some kind of sacred spring way off over the mountains to the east of this village. Apparently all the great heroes would make a point of visiting it before seeing off on their quests. Stopped after the first couple starter packs. Like, the first, first, first ones. I mean, I played up until... I played competitively. Like, I went to weekly tournaments and stuff uh, throughout high school. Um, and I stopped playing when they released the Black Luster Dragon. Blimey, what kind of strength? You'll go far in this world. What? Oh. This was, this was like a challenge thing? I was supposed to, like, push the rock? Alright. Glad I impressed you with my rock-pushing skills, buddy. Humble flex. A suspicious-looking liquid is brewing away in this huge pot. See the wisdom. Yay. Nothing of interest. Ooh, anecdote herb. Hmm, what are you doing in here? You could have sworn I locked the front door. Did you find a key somewhere? Or something? You trespassing and so-and-so? Yes. What's that? The thief's key? My goodness. To get your hands on that, you'd have to be. You are, aren't you? You're Ortega's child. The one we've heard so much about. Oh my, then. I'd better give you a little something to help you on your way. Now, where did I put it? Brant receives the wrecking ball. Nice. You can use that to break the seal on the teleportal. But be careful, those things go off with an almighty bang. Good luck now. Alright, that's all I need to do to get it. That seems irresponsible, but fine. Here, just take this massive exploding object. Enjoy. I can't save with you yet? Really? I could have swore you could save with the priest by this point in the game. This is... Back. Oh, Greg, you took a tumble. Thanks, Greg. That's great. Holy sh! But I have my stream for mature. Holy shit! Huh? Like, Duel Links is like a modified, like, rule set, though, doesn't it? It doesn't use, like, the base rules. Hi. Oh, okay. But how can then you summon Exodia, the Forbidden One? Or use the final board? Well, that's good. Because ritual summons were always kind of really eh. Okay. Oh, there's a little stairwell. Hmm. <laughs> 
Welcome to the Path of Promise, youngster. You won't find it too promising right now, though. The way through has been blocked up. That's as far back as we need to stand, really. And now it's opened up. It really does look rather promising. Messages seem to have been carved rather haphazardly on the underside of the lid. Dear traveler from Alahan, please help yourself to this here map. To take a look at it, you need to do no more than press the X button, and uh, another press will get you a closer look. May your journey be blessed with success. Brand acquires the adventures map. We got the town map there, Greg. Oh god. Oh god. That's such a big world compared to like Dragon Quest 2. Man. Alright, that's the stairwell down. That's the stairwell down. That's not a stairwell. Neither is this. Alright, let's do this first. Nice. Ah. Why is that spiked hair taking no damage? Is it glitching? Yeah, you don't have any spells. Let's start fighting these wasps then, maybe? Thanks, Greg. I appreciate it. Have yourself a good stream and a good night. This is looking pretty dire for me right now, though. If I'm not gonna lie. Well, I might be okay. We went from like, ah, things are really easy, to like, why is nothing dying? experience with this. Oh man, here we go. Night nineteen. Nineteen is not a lot. G-Reg tried to make a run for it. Coward. No. Okay, I think we're alright with this fight. Ugh. It's a lot of enemies. I really wish, at this point, I'm kind of sort of maybe possibly regretting not taking a mage. To, like, be able to AoE some of this stuff down when I get, like, these really stupidly large groups. But I think we'll be fine. 
This might take us a little longer. We might have to heal through things more regularly. Alright, nothing there. Ooh, a treasure chest. Ooh, PC candy. Let's check them both. It's a long hallway. I do like the way that they do the, the like, being able to see different room stuff. I think it definitely adds to, like, the complexity of, like, navigating through these dungeons and stuff by being able to see certain things. I think that's a good addition. Um, again, I think the stairwell game, the cup game kind of thing that they pulled in Dragon Quest Two, is not as good, though. But I've been having an okay time with these dungeons so far. Is that another dead end? Looks like another dead end. Oh, ant gobblers. Don't say that too slow. Did it? Nope. Okay, we're all at the bottom now. Uh, cute, you can use some health. Everything else seems to be okay. Alright. Oh, killer pillar. Oof. 11 points of damage is a lot at this point. But what are you doing to me, Caterpie? Good. To get it. Okay. Divine Dagger. I think the Divine Dagger is going to be upgraded for Cutie. So let's. Yeah, alright, that should help. Okay. And then this one here. So I think this is where I want to end up going. It seems right. Yeah. Alright. Oof. Go ahead and heal yourself too there, Malu. Whoa. Alright, you attack, you heal. Go sneeze again. Okay. The killer pillar is defeated. Sneeze again. Oh, <laughs> Cutie reached level eight. Jeez. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze again. Oh. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, shoot. Yeah, 
Yes. 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 This is where I remember Dragon Quest 3 starting legitimately. So you got the castle, and there's a town, and there's a town, and there's a town. I think it makes like a T-shape here, if I recall properly. It's super exciting. I want to go save, though. Can I save at the church now? Or do I have to go talk to the king? Do, do, do. Then we're actually going to go back through the portal, because I think we missed... We didn't go to that shrine at all. Which probably should do. Restless Heart. No books. Eureka Moment. Many leagues to the north of here lies the visit of Corvair. It's Mato... Malto Bello, but very far... Oh, 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 these are Italians. There are Italians in this town. Okay. Oh, Queen. Well met, Scion of Ortega. Your reputation precedes you. You have 223 points of experience during your next level. Mally, you have 221. Greg, you have 43. And QT, you have 271. Do you wish to record the details of your adventure thus far? Yes, I would. Thank you. Ugh. Yep. That despicable brigand Robin Wood stole, uh, stole from us the most sacred of Regal Crown. Were you able to return it to us or prove yourself a true hero? Go forth, Brant. May you travel with us. Hmm. Okay, well, let's go find this Robin Oud and get that going. And we'll have to come through here and, like, talk to all the villagers and stuff like that in this town. And, like, well, we could buy better gear really quick. I think I have a little bit of money now. So what do you have? Okay, we got the Divine Daggers that increases Q's attack. Chain Sickle. Iron Lance. Oh, you know what? I could I can Camaro wing back now too, can't I? The shell armor. Well, hold on, let's let's just before we do that. Do I have two of them. I probably need to buy one more. Are you a gold keeper? Okay, no, you're not. Okay. Oh, iron apron. Nice. Alright, now I have a way to get back. I mean, we could probably buy one back in town anyway, but. So let's do that quick. Romaria. Ah, I like it. <sighs> do I have five? I might not have enough mini medals. I don't remember. Wasn't counting closely. But if we have five, he'll give me something. A whip or a sickle. Either way, it would be probably very good. Dang, I need one more. Which I think, do we miss some? We didn't go up that one stairwell either in the dungeon. Wow. Uh... I also need to check on what Greg started playing. Greg, what are you playing? I don't see Jared streaming yet. He hasn't posted about it yet, it looks like. Oh, there he goes.
I'm watching g -Rex chat here as he goes live. Wanna go this oh that was actually <laughs> Alright, we're gonna we're gonna raid Greg here as soon as I save a clip. He's playing Assassin's Creed. And the first one too, which is oof. That's a game. You got a mini metal in here, boss. There we go. Heck yeah. Whips and boomerangs allow the wheel to attack multiple enemies simultaneously. Whips can hit an entire group, and boomerang will entire enemy damage in the field. Though their attack power may seem unlimited, used tactically, they can confer a great advantage, and that's exactly why I want a whip or a boomerang. So. Yo, young street now for that record ball on your person, do ya? No. I don't. Child, what do you think? Get back to Reba and find one. Well then, what are you waiting for? Get yourself to the Path of Promise. It's next to the Spring of Promise. Alright. Let's go back down there again. So, yeah, there's like nothing we can do with the spring itself, though. Which is weird, but whatever. Well, those paths sure does look promising. Uh... Okay, so there was a stairwell over here we never checked out. Yeah. Oh, okay. So this is just the... You fell down. Get out. Which is a mechanic they didn't add until super late in Dragon Quest II. Push through. Let's get this dungeon wrapped up, and then I'll probably save and quit at that point. I mean, by the time I'm out of here, it might be the normal time that I'm ending anyway. <laughs> ah. Dragon Quest games are not short games, although I feel like I beat Dragon Quest Two way under the estimate of uh, how long to beat said it was going to take. I think they said like 16 hours for no, yeah. Something like, well, it's like six hours, six to ten for the first game, which is, I think, what about what I did. And the second one, I feel like, was like 16 hours, and I got it done in less than three streams, which means I got it done in less than 12 hours, roughly, right? Um, I'll go take a look at my save file and see how long it took. And I don't, I, the only thing I didn't get in that game from the little bit of reading I did is that there's some enemies that drop, like, the bestest, bestest, bestest weapons in the game. Yep. As random drops. And, uh, I did not have those. Uh, and some of these older JRPGs, that's something that they like to do. And I, I really like it when they do stuff like that, personally. I wish more games did stuff like that. I wish there was more of it even in these games. Because, like... When you talk about, like, a 0.001% chance rate drop on something, yes, from a completionist perspective, that stinks. And I get that. But, like, the story of, like, you being like, hey, man, did you ever find the Goblin Summon in Final Fantasy IV, right? And people being like, what the hell are you talking about? There's no Goblin Summon in Final Fantasy IV. And you're just like... That, like, whole schoolyard neatness... I think it's really cool. And, like, some of these, like, hidden systems and stuff like that in these games. Like, I don't know how your stats are generated off of any of these games. But in the original Dragon Warrior, like, your stats are determined based on... Your stat growth is determined based on your character's name. 
And oh no. Malu, no. What happened over here? Oh, okay. Nothing. Nothing worth calling out. And I think, like, all those random variables happening in the background, to me, makes the game worlds feel much more uh, interesting and alive. And, like, knowing those systems and how those systems work and being able to cheese them and stuff, like, has certain, like, things to it, right? Um, but I think that, like, just having something random, something different, something that every time you play the game is a variable in a way. It, it just makes the experience much better. Um, and as you can see, even like when I'm playing these Dragon Quest games, like each time you level up, your character stat range is a roll. It's a random roll. And like at some point, you're going to hit certain, you know, stat levels basically to be able to continue playing the game. But um, you have very little control unless, of course, you're playing with the RNG and you're in an early version of the game that you can easily cheese, right? Oh no, we might die here. I probably should have healed that last round. Whoops. I don't think it's game over if the hero dies. I think we can continue to proceed on. It doesn't have, like, the boulders gate mechanic like that. Alright, and we warp. And we warped a bit. And we go north. Back to Ramona. And let's go get my friend who died back to life. Um, and we'll go save with the king. Hey. Can you resurrect my friend Malu? Yes. I just realized... We didn't... We didn't do the mini metal thing. <laughs> uh, I guess because I was hoping I'd find one more mini metal. Okay, so let's go back to the first town again. And do the mini metal thing quick. And then next time I play, which will be Fry-ish day, maybe? I don't know, we'll see. I, I, I really want to play through uh, Half-Life Alex, And I want to try to relax this weekend a little bit. I'm very stressed out right now with everything going on. Like I think I said earlier, like today is the first day that I was legitimately scared by some of the stuff that's going on, so... That is definitely a factor. Yeah. Let's spend the night. Heck yeah. Um, that I, I really need just a couple days. So I don't know if I'll stream this weekend. And if I do, maybe it'll just be fun stuff, whatever I feel like playing. Maybe I'll play more Dragon Quest Builders 2 or something. Um, but yeah, we'll pick up, like, and, and in my mind, like, I, I don't, I did not remember this whole island, basically. But as soon as I, like, saw that castle at that end of that peninsula, like, I was taken back to nostalgia, and I'm like, yes, this is Dragon Quest 3. Yep. Alright, Thorn Whip. Yeah, I want to bring you 10 at some point, but for now, the Thorn Whip will do. Okay. So that'll work for now. Alright, so we got the whip equipped. So the whip is cool because the whip will let my main character now hit the entire party of enemies um, in the grouping. So there's like, the, the, the grouping of the enemies is very significant. I didn't talk about it very much in Dragon Quest 2. I probably should have. Uh, so you have abilities that either target a single enemy, like it's a normal attack with like a sword. You have abilities that attack a group of enemies, which is like the groupings they get divided into. So you might be fighting four slimes, but they might be in two groups of two, or they might all be in one group of uh, four. And it depends on that grouping, how you can attack them, basically, right? And so, like, the whip should do more damage than, like, a boomerang, but it only target specific groups. So now if I'm in, like, if where there's, like, four groups, I did not want to continue, but that's fine. Um, if there's four enemies in a single group, I'll hit all four of those with the whip, which is good. That'll that'll definitely help us with this initial stuff. Um, and then the boomerang does less damage because it hits everything no matter what. So, yeah, let's go raid Greg. I don't know how many people are still here, um, but oh, or my emote if you got it, you know, Sargato. 
We'll do what we'll do to raid. And uh, let's go say hi to Heck and Greg, who's playing one of my favorite game series.